Oh, the interesting thing, though, Devil, that you missed was uh, during when they were telling us about the case, the smarty pants guy, the guy that's on the computer all the time, and we had to go to those, like, uh, computer bars or whatever they are, um, he gave us a kind of a lecture on the history of bullying, in a sense. And, like, he brought it all the way back to, like... Uh, shit like uh like caveman days it was interesting it's cool <laughs> call him pal yeah it was cool though here we go again crap i'm out of cigs better hit the convenience store yeah hey, we need cigarettes to eavesdrop on people Shit, this person's not gonna sell any cigarettes. Sweet heaven? Oh my god, soft serve ice cream, gimme. Oh no, doesn't that look just a bit of delicious? All gone now. Yagami has consumed it. Goddamn convenience store. Oh, uh, probably nothing. I'm trying to find a convenience store to buy cigarettes. Oh, no, ma'am. Ooh, okay. I mean, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'll buy three. Thank you. Thank you. Since we're over here, we might as well see what she's selling. Oh, no. Oh, bean paste? To be, if I'm, oh, but handmade meat. Again. Uh, that one's... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, no, no, no. She said these are sometimes filled with this or that. I thought this one was filled with the shiitake mushrooms. And I said, no, thank you. Um, I'll have pork. Pork, please. Three pork buns. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bunned up. Sunny Divine Day convenience store to buy some cigarettes oh well yeah that's just me going i was just going around Ooh, an arcade oh no hey fuck you buddy that hurt who do you think you are right in his butt catch <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> yes, yes, that was so good. Really, guys? Da, 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 da. Upside down against the wall. Get the hell out of here. That was awesome. All right, we're here. We'll buy cigarettes later. Joe Inro. Looks like this is it. Are you almost here, Yagamishi? We went ahead and sat down. Actually, we're right out front. Mm hmm. Excellent. Just give the host my name then. Will do. <laughs> Was this the same guy living in a net cafe not too long ago? Net cafe. Sure That's the word. Come a That's computer way. bar. Yeah, net cafe <laughs> was, <laughs> was, 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 was what I was trying to think of. <laughs> computer bar. Synonyms. Without further ado, allow me to introduce Yagamishi and Kaito-san. Who's this man? I mentioned before. Oh, they see the like the dean the or the private eyes in Kamurocho. Ah, yes. Super School here has certainly been singing your president piece. fellow guy. My name is Ukura. Principal. I'm the chairman. Oh, chairman. Of the here we go. School. Chairman. Here we go. If you prefer. Yes. We're gonna find out he's purposely been gathering bullies from around the world to bring to his school. Isn't that where those kids were from? <laughs> I got nothing. I got nothing. Is something the matter? <laughs> we actually ran into some of your students today. There must have been seven, eight of them. They were harassing a restaurant worker and yeah. recording it on their phone. 
Oh boy. And I'm guessing you didn't just stand and watch? You bet your ass we didn't. Had to knock a little sense into those brats. Yeah, little this, little that. I mean, there was an altercation? I... Perhaps I should pretend not to have heard that. Mm-hmm. Hear Come what? On, <laughs> Why don't we cut the formal crap and tell it like it is? Because Kaido, always be keeping it real. Kaito <laughs> would be unprofessional. Jim, That's we'd funny. Like to start investigating God, I want to eat their food so, so would fucking you mind bad. Sharing any background information you may have? Certainly, yes. Our administration has a very firm stance against bullying. Yet no policy is foolproof, and each situation is unique. We continually ask ourselves, are we taking proper measures to foster a supportive environment? Or, if enmity is already prevalent among the student body, are we addressing their concerns promptly enough? I believe the key is prevention. Stop <laughs> bullying before it starts. Yeah, make everyone love each other. detectives to help? Oh, yes. See, yes. as this thought was dawning on me, I happened across a sign. Yokohama 99, it read. I visited your webpage, actually, and I discovered just how well-versed you were at this very matter. At that moment, I knew fate was guiding my hand. So like you walked right yeah. out of a commercial. In uh, most situations so we've dealt with, we knew soup. who the problem was beforehand. All we needed to do was get the evidence. But in this case, we don't even know if there's a bully in the first place. Hence, why we called in the reinforcements. So, I take it you have some sort of plan? Of course. We're going to start by spreading hidden cameras throughout the school, anywhere that bullying is most likely to occur. Hidden cameras at the school? A detailed snapshot I mean, I guess it's pretty good, yeah. Otherwise go unnoticed. Then Private after school should have cameras, run, sure. We'll compile yes. our data and present our initial in the bathroom? <laughs> right. That's uh, where a lot of bullying takes place. Camp. That's why you said where bullying takes place. People don't want to hear that <laughs> specifically in the locker rooms, the bathrooms, anywhere the children get naked. <laughs> Jesus. These you don't want to hear that, hidden. no. Damn. You make me We're going to be putting them inside the toilet, so. Sorry, that's bad. Do I have that correct? That's bad. I believe the more people who know, the more likely it is this would get out. At any rate, I've heard Yagami-san here has tackled many a difficult case in Kamojo. Yeah, I'm Herbert's. glad to have such a reliable detective on the job. You have my full confidence and backing. <laughs> they just keep raising the bar on us, don't they? So, Yagami-shi, if there's anything you'd like to ask the chairman, now's your chance. Hey, good idea. You might learn a thing or two from watching the master at work. Way to put me on the spot, guys. But might as well. All right. I have lots of questions. Let's start with number one. Why do you go so far as to hire... Oh, okay. If bullying is found, what then? Regarding our scuffle with your students, mind if I order Peking Duck? All right, let's go. Why does he feel like he has to go as far as to hire detectives, right? I want to ask the top two questions. The bottom two don't matter. Or maybe, are we only going to get one chance? Let's do this one first. In the event we do uncover bullying, what action would you take? Of course, we would provide appropriate counseling, in addition to notifying the local authorities. Wouldn't that mean increasing the teacher's workload? Interviewing students, filling out paperwork. That could lead to making people not want to bother reporting it. Whoa, aren't you a freaking sad, sad sack. I can't rule out that possibility. A week on the road with this the guy wants to shove an so exhaust pipe down my fucking throat. <laughs> I doubt they'd volunteer to look for any extra trouble. That is why we must strike at the root of it. What if you offered your staff a bonus for catching any bullies in the act? I know that motivate me. <laughs> you don't think that it backfire? Yeah, I know people purposely. Actually, well, it depends. We're dealing consider. with teachers here. This is but this is top moral. The these these, these, these no are ethically solution. good people. Typically, uh, being teachers. T typically, 
Uh, what do I ask the chairman? Why do I go so far? Uh, if only found, uh, the, yeah, the higher detective suspect. I'm curious on that. Could you elaborate on why you're going the detective route for this? Like I said, my goal is to nip any bullying in the bud before it can grow any worse. And it's not enough for the teachers to be on full alert? Unfortunately, no. I'm afraid I can't fully trust whatever they jot down on some report. What happened to make the chairman doubt the teacher's credibility? That's what I'm wondering. It's like, these are teachers here. Shouldn't we trust them? You mentioned you can't trust your teachers. Okuda-san, you mentioned you couldn't trust your teachers' reports. Why is that? Uh, human error, I suppose. Behavior you? can be ambiguous. And it is difficult to notice every little detail. <laughs> are some of your the teachers bullies? seem to hint at something else. Yes. Yes, I suppose it did. Can you tell me what's going on? Uh, uh, where should I begin? Go the veins on this guy's head and the... You see, folks. Um, it has been almost God, four this years is so since good. the suicide of one of our students. Oh. The poor boy hung himself at home. You mean because he was being bullied? Not on paper. I don't know if I have a choice now because I did that other one. Day, but they never turned up anything. <laughs> should we get the Peking before. Duck? You know what? We should. Well, let's get it. We'll, we'll have one more. <laughs> yes. One of the student's parents filed a lawsuit. Now, there were online postings that may or may not have hinted at bullying. But the prosecution never found substantial evidence. And the court ruled we were in the clear. <laughs> if I can ask your honest opinion, was there really no bullying, Chairman? I would like to believe there wasn't. But I may have been too far removed from the classroom to say that in good faith. Every day I watch our students come to school, and what I see are young, happy kids. They're all so full of life, with bright futures ahead of them. However, Around two months ago, we lost contact with one of our student teachers. Everyone assumes it's a mental health issue. The hell? Don't tell me he got picked on too. That could have been the case, but I didn't get enough details to say for sure. <laughs> From what I'd observed, he appeared to be getting along quite well with the students. But I later heard his family had reported him missing. Suicide four years back, a missing teacher. This school is no stranger to controversy. At the end of the day, all right, I have it in my ear. I gotta go to shed back. light on the darkness that's plagued my school. That is why I went the detective route. the option about the peeking i do oh my god all right peeking duck here we go hey you mind if we order the peeking duck <laughs> hey chairman you a big fan of peeking duck hmm? oh uh, it's very tasty isn't it it's one of my personal favorites nothing like biting into warm crunchy duck skin oh and it's got to be slathered in that special sauce are you eating okay yagamishi you can place amazing. another order. If you could get back to the case, I'll make sure to keep your plate full. Oh, and he tells me to keep it professional. <laughs> We're gonna be graded on this failure. They're gonna be like, alright, let's see how you did. All right, everyone's loosening up a bit. What's next? I love that. That's funny. All right, enough talking. I'm not. I'm not talking about the kid. Might as well. If we've already did everything else, might as well. So, we never actually resolved this, but 
We did get into a scuffle with your students. No one got hurt, but how do you feel about that? Uh, well, uh, I'm afraid I have to remain ignorant of that. <laughs> Fine. But let me tell you one thing. Next time I see your students harassing someone, it's gonna be lights out. The kitty gloves are off. Uh, that also part of the Yagami Detective Agency package? Oh, it's like we're being like scolded for our bad answers or bad questions. That's hilarious. Um, that's fucking funny. I think this conversation has been enlightening. <laughs> Any thoughts, Tsukuma? Hmm. Yeah, if your kids give us any other there. shit, we're gonna beat their ass I suppose again. We'll have to see when we get there. We may have more questions then. That would be fine. Hmm. All right then. Time to dig in or what? Are you really pretending Please. you waited? You've been nibbling this whole time. Shut up, man. <laughs> you call this nibbling? <laughs> hey, waiter, I want to play Tenori. And tell your chef, I hope his kitchen can handle this heat. Uh, I take it this place isn't exactly cheap. <laughs> Don't you worry about that, Yagamishi. The bill's on us. It's your welcoming party, remember? Oh, get out of here, dude. That's that expensive. Is... Uh, excuse me. Uh, I don't do. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Someone else fronting the bill. Suicide at zero high. Okay. What I like to do, let's recap. So we're on this first case called Black Sheep. Four years ago on January 10th, 2018. Oh, no shit. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I don't know why I read that as 10 years ago, and I thought we were in the year 2028. Okay, four years ago, uh, the first day of the new semester, a male third, a male third year high schooler, age 18, was found by his mother at 7 a.m., hanging from a towel wrapped around his neck in his own bedroom. In an apartment near Ijincho, Yokohama, Yokohama, an ambulance took him to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Is it really dumb? Oh no. <laughs> That's not good. Bad omen. Oh no. <laughs> uh, chairman. Wait. Okay, yeah. Chairman of Zero High Private School in Jinko. He was already the chairman back in 2018 when one of the students committed suicide. Okay. That's all we know. That's all we know. One of the teachers went missing too. We know that one of the teachers went missing. So, how was that for your first day's work? I realize that meeting was a lot to take in, but the task at hand seems pretty straightforward. Oh, yeah. What was that you said about using hidden cameras? <laughs> Tomorrow, we'll be deciding where to put them. Oh, we don't no. Have all that many, so you know. This is gonna be weird. Oh, and we'll be dressed as AC repairmen. What? Oh, hell you yeah. You just wear uniforms? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Freshly laundered and ready for duty. As you may recall, only the chairman is aware of our investigation. We must therefore deceive both student and faculty. Sounds like a plan to me. Every For good now, detective let's game call it a night. must have... <laughs> You've got a point there. What, in any um... case, try to make yourselves at home. Apologies in advance if you find our amenities wanting. Disguises. You gotta have disguises. You can't not have disguises and that's great this game's great for that still only have the one song so i'm gonna play it okay i'm a night owl so my work's just starting i recommend you get some sleep for tomorrow if you want to close your eyes for a bit the couch is surprisingly comfortable we get to stay here ichi chose not such a bad town and the chinese food oh, top notch Besides, these kids got nothing on our usual Yakuza flunkies. I don't think we have anything to decorate with. 
You have nothing. He doesn't want to talk. Some friend he is. Oh, I think he wants to talk. <laughs> hmm? How does he buy two equally worn down skateboards online? They were twins. They were twins. They used to be me and my twins, and uh, they could only play uh, outside. I don't know. Limited edition, only available by lottery. So I pre-ordered it on two websites to up my chances. And I, I was selected by the lottery on both sides. The uh, second skateboard got delivered today. Can you just return it? Can you just return it or sell it online? Mm -hmm. Returns aren't allowed, and yeah, I did think about selling it online. It's going for twice its original price, but uh, yeah. come on. If you can sell it for twice the price, then that's even better. You're making bank. <laughs> no way. You can't. I won't allow it. As long as I live, I won't abide resales. None. I hate Sukoma. Sukumo. My man. Bro. Yes. Resells. You guys are assholes. Just saying. <laughs> Ripping people off just so you can make an extra buck just because you get your hands on something a little bit early. Maybe you fucking use a robot to cheat your hands in it. Ah. Hey, what's wrong? Uh, Trevor. <sighs> Mm -hmm. mm. And he had to pay like a bunch extra and that's ridiculous to have to pay so much more when it should just still be at regular price. If the company is selling it for that price, that's what that shit should be worth. Nah. Uh, I don't know. But hey, we live in a capitalist society, so everyone's like, you know, supply and demand. <laughs> uh. Mm-hmm. That's fucked up, man. Hmm. Feel it? I understand your pain. Huh. No, sorry, I don't get it. Fucking okay. You see why I can't figure out what to do with these skateboards? So, we share. I like how he, he put his uh, mask up. It's hanging on the wall. Maybe he doesn't use it. Why don't you let Yagami... Yagamishi use it, uh... It'd be a handy way to get around to Ijincho. Yeah, 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 that's not a bad idea. Would you actually see use it, yagami -san? I absolutely would. Kick flip all day. I really don't know what to do with it since I can't sell it and they won't take a return. Mind if I use it for free? Isn't it pretty valuable? You can just pay me back later. Next time you sell a big case and get a nice reward, treat me some word. <laughs> alright, I'll write it with a gratitude. Blue Tribal. <laughs> Rad, man. Oh, by the way, even though you can ride it uh, around the city, you can't go on sidewalks. Dangerous to skate where pedestrians are. Hear that, kids? Respect, respect, uh, respect others. And don't forget to wear a helmet and knee pads and elbow pads and like extra clothing for for padding. And okay, got it. <laughs> Uh oh, I think you found some juicy porn. <laughs> Sorry. That's bad. Uh, what's wrong, Sukun? <laughs> Susu. What's the problem? <laughs> the Ibisu Pond is front of the station, has a five year anniversary limited color Love Star figure. Okay, I can't wait to see what these figures look like. Do you know where the Noni Hale of? I, that's what I'm telling you, right? You're telling me I have to stay in the street, even though, like, skateboard is not the same as a bike. It, that seems that's dangerous. I think. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. Hmm. <laughs> I put in all the hidden cameras. Just 
like old school. Or old times. Reseller's already on his way. Can you go there now? Let's buy this one. Yeah. Yeah. Can you? I think I'm gonna like this. Uh, basically, in this one, they gave us a mount to get around the city quicker. Great. Skateboard. Gotta love it. Based on the time when the reseller last closed, he's gonna be there in just three minutes. Gotcha. Oh my god. I sound I hear the sound of a bag. Yep. Damn. I was working on. Mm-hmm. It's really cool. Mm-hmm. Oh nice. So I got him like X top. Got him fucking. Yeah. And cow here with like Devil says hello, Jake. What's up, Devil? Coasting through the city, yeah. hop on a skateboard yeah. to get around town much faster than running. While on the street, hold down X or R2, take off running, and whip out your board. Try collecting coin-shaped skateboard points as you skate around. Something good might happen if you do. There are many skateboards with various abilities and designs, so try and find them all. Oh, there's more. Fuck. Accelerating press, uh, jump to start. Okay, we're good. Okay, I don't remember how to ride the skateboard. Oh, there it is. Why isn't it doing it? Why aren't I? Oh, there it is. There it is. You just have to keep running. Oh, no. I can't do it there. That's okay. I regular run here. You quick, and then we skateboard on the streets. This is going to be weird. Why can't I skateboard this? Why can't I skateboard the sidewalk? Why can't I skateboard the fucking sidewalk? Exactly. Do the Bartman. Ah, I wanted that coin and I didn't grab it. We don't have any time. Yeah, I think we probably have time. What is that coin? Yeah! Fucking 100 skateboard coins! Skateboard? Skateboard. Got speech about Oh, fuck that. Let's go on the street. Is skateboarding over here? Wait, am I supposed to? Oh, accelerate. We're never gonna get there in time. Does this this doesn't really feel fast? Guess we got there though. Excuse me. Uh huh. Love star figurine. Oh, hold on. I love the background music for everything. It's so chill. And it... Oh, man. So good. In Japan, skateboarding is illegal on roads with rigging traffic and prohibited in most public... So, there's just no good spots. If you're not doing a skate park, you're fucking screwed. And in Japan, you don't... I don't think those kids are as rebellious as these punk-ass kids up the street, right? So, it's interesting. Oh yeah, I love Star. What is it? Bro, I spent all my money on steamed buns! Oh! Oh! No, yet. Yeah. Alright. I guess our friend gave us the money then. I, I didn't catch that moment. 
No. Important business affairs? No. No. If the key is not to bother anyone. That's so crazy, devil. Because that's just respectful, and that's awesome. To think that there's a bunch of skateboarders that are actually respectful and don't want to bother everyone. We grew up with generations of skateboarders that were... that you, you were supposed to be an asshole to basically everyone. Anyone that had a problem with you skateboarding, whether even though you were the asshole that was skateboarding in front of, like, someone's, like, home or just, I don't know, at, at ruining the freaking area around, like, I don't know, a bank or something, like, like, you're just supposed to hate anyone that just gets in the way of you and your skateboarding, and I, I really like this Japanese style. Nun just said he, uh, he, he kicked out when he used to, back in the day, work at, uh, uh Taco Bell. He had to kick out a group of kids that were skateboarding. And those kids retaliated by setting the dumpster on fire. You don't get in the way of American skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> they were driving me <laughs> but they were pretty cool I know they were kind of driving me but they were pretty cool Pulls up right like Karen's versus skaters. It's amazing. Yeah, I bet that's so horrible. No way. One of the coolest things, even though like I was friends with a lot of skaters, and you know, it's cool. I don't have a problem with the skaters. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, something that I don't think they do anymore, but I wish that they would bring it back was the Thrashers. Um, God, what is it like on the road something road challenge i don't remember but they did it for so many years and it was so cool and they would compete on the road doing challenges at different spots different cities and they'd go around and it was just the coolest thing yeah this is how valuable it was this thing I used to cut through the mcdonald's near me so i didn't have to cross the main road and there was a drive through worker who would only try and hit me with the water or the hose on somebody. Just because. Just because. Like, fuck that kid. Oh, that's how we disarm. Sliding me. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get cone. So I bought expanding soundproof foam, stuck it in one of the speaker holes of the drive through and sprayed the whole thing. <laughs> You don't get in front. You don't get in the way of skaters and skating. You know, it's, you're the enemy, no matter what. Even though skater life, skater, skater die. Yeah, skater die. Yeah, skater's yeah. life. Skater die. I so that's what yeah. I meant to say. Skater boy said, "See, see you later, later, boy." boy. You know, <laughs> that's that's the skate way. Okay, <laughs> I got an amazing collectible, and I didn't have to fork over money to do a reseller. That's right. Even though we bought it from a pawn shop, we were able to buy it at, at face value? What? What? <laughs> you wanted it so bad he attacked me. It was really so in the man. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, hey, oh, yeah, I guess the Visu pawn owner wasn't in the know. But this is a very rare color sample, the, whose production line was canceled. So this color has never been available to the public. There are only two of these in the entire world. Oh. Wow. That's pretty unique. Yes. I found out. I did it. I did it. I 
pirate ship or whatever somewhere. Are you serious? Know, pirate ship. Anyway, no. The reason pirates wore gold and why they wore it. Because if they would die, and would, it was to pay for a proper burial. Oh, sure. Whoever buried them, oh, they would just funny. take their jewelry, earrings, as payment. Mm. You know, getting a proper burial. I never knew that's that. interesting. And that's where the fucking the earrings came. They're ready to die whenever. Yeah. Always ready. Always ready. Back in those days. Hundred thousand for one figure. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Very sorry. Uh, no, it is the thing. You know, thank God. Otherwise, that would have been that would have been a bust. Skate or die. There we go. I'm having to witness the murder of a drug dealer in an underground car park. Jerome and Benjamin, teenagers from the suburbs, need all their wits. But more importantly, their considerable skateboarding skills to escape the perpetrators and report what they've seen to the authorities. That sounds like a dope movie. Dude, we should make a tech deck mixtape. <laughs> tech deck, yes. So, so you see why every other would be that short. <laughs> that splendid item does not belong in the hands of a reseller. But you know what? Actually, I was watching Sopranos. Like I keep saying that I've been watching Sopranos lately. I've been, I never watched it, and I've been binging it. And the kid said um, they were talking about Gladiator. They had like a span of episodes where one of the douchebag guys was like obsessed with Gladiator, which was such a real thing. There were people that were so obsessed with Gladiator, and they all it was so fucking annoying. Just like people that were so obsessed with 300, it was so freaking annoying. And uh, yeah, but that, that's like real thing. So yeah, so they they had that, and then the guy was talking to the kid, and the kid referred to the movie as fat. But yeah, it was fat. And I said, oh man, I don't even remember if you actually. I guess I do vaguely. It was real. That was a long time ago. So weird. <clears throat> Such a fun time, I uh, but the show has been really fun for these nostalgic uh, reminders. Sure to be a success. Side case completed. Knocked that one out of the park. Should call it a night. We're gonna sleep on the guy's couch with Kaido. Are you kidding me? We're cuddling. Oh, we're gonna cuddle. If it gets cold there at night. That's that we uh, share our body warmth. Yagamishi, remember those beep, beep, uniforms beep, beep, I mentioned beep, yesterday? Beep, 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 beep. You'll need to put one on before okay, we here. go. They should be a perfect fit. <laughs> come here. After all, there's no information I can't find, body measurements included. Yeah, Double link this. He said, that. show this to You've never been one to miss a detail. Hell yeah. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? I don't know, because he has that one, like, in... I think he was on display. It's cool. Little display markers. Dude, I can totally... Out of concrete, I can make a bowl. I could. I could totally make a little skate park. Like, <laughs> no joke could. Yeah, but the guy's not landing them. He's slacking them down. I mean, yeah, that is cool. Yeah, ha <laughs> ha, hell yeah. That, that is time. awesome. This guy's great. Never mind. Some of those those crazy out of control ones. Fuck yeah. Gotta that miss is the great. Days, dude. Yeah, I, the I fucking used to be on that shit up. all the time. They Even got in a, class, just yeah. fucking on my book. Yeah, they got a rap song in the background. <laughs> 60 flip. Oh, hey. no, we flip. <laughs> you made some big ones. This is great. Hell yeah. This is thug. I'm going to keep this in the background of my next This is great. Kid oh, Flash. Oh, stall. Kid Flash, baby. I don't know skateboard terminology. I just call yep. shit the way I... <laughs> That was a manual in between. I saw that. I think that's what he was going for. Oh, man. Put your fucking wrist into it. Why is that guy wearing a. sucking on a bib? Drugs. Oh, drugs. He was doing drugs. I see. Yeah. Hey, man. That was, that's the way that was, it was. dope. We should, well, we're going to buy tech deck. We're going to make a real. Remember jumping tables in the cafeteria and shit? <laughs> yep. Okay, about disguises. Oh, we got disguises. 
Did we unlock a new song too? It looks like. Oh god damn it! We're getting the same work clothes. They're reusing this disguise. They gave us the disguise in the previous one. <clears throat> it's okay. Shark stars. Go, go, shark stars. I wonder what that is in Japanese. Look at these badass. What is this fucking Armageddon? This is an Armageddon? What are we doing here? <laughs> We're gonna go uh, play, a, put a bunch of hidden cameras in a What's private teenage guys? school. Cool. They sure yep. look like men on a mission. We're gonna spy on the kids. We will now commence our journey by taxi. <laughs> 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 Remember, this case can open up a lot for us depending on how we solve it. So let's leave no stone unturned. What does that mean? <laughs> Don't worry. Do no good work? Too big or too small. We always swing for the fences. Ain't that right, Tom? <laughs> Hell yeah. Good. Then let's get going. You son of a bitch. Let's do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go to Ciro High School. Let's do it. Hello, we'd like to enter. This looks like a snug journey with your friends. Um, we're going to a high school. There it is. Did you? He did. Did you make that sound? Okay. Because I have the thing in my ear, it sounded like it came from outside, but I see. Is every are all the kids in class? Uh, Why is it empty? Must be the repairman. Repairman, the man, man, man. Here. I take it you know where you're going. Yes, but thank you anyway. Ooh. Where's the children's money. locker rooms uh, and bathrooms? Prep school. Wonder if the kids are on recess. So, our first order of business is to analyze the layout of the school. The schoolyard should provide the proper vantage point. Let's head there. We gotta put a camera under the bleachers. That's where all the kids like to get it on. It seems this school's design is fairly conventional. See, there's the classroom building. Looks like a classroom that building. Must be the gym. Looks like a gym. By the way, how many spikes? This is Tony Hawk. I feel like we're gonna do some. Twenty in total, all of which feed directly to my computer. I think we ought to split them up between us. Yeah, could, twenty, but. That might draw extra attention. We stick out enough as is, so people will wonder what we're doing alone. But if we moved in pairs, they'd write us off a lot easier. <laughs> it's true. Clever as always, Yagamishi. Huh. That reminds me of something. When a con man pretends to be a cop, he'll usually bring along a partner. It seems the added person adds legitimacy. Unless you're a natural Just skeptic. All we're learning. To say, Yagamishi knows his material. I love the little, yeah, that's just like a random factoid they just throw in. Very funny. So, how about Kaito-san and I take half the cameras and you guys take the rest? Where are they, anyway? How about we take, like, a fourth these cameras don't see very far, but they do see wide. 150 degrees, to be precise. So let's try to set them up where we think a bully would be most likely to strike. Please don't tell me that there's wrong answers. blind spots, yeah. You're looking at a natural buddy. You would brag about something like that, Kaito. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Better stop before I blush. <laughs> All right, guys, I think it's time for action. Okay, Tak and I'll start here. And you guys can work your way around opposite us. Affirmative. We've only got ten cameras, so we gotta use them smart. Okay. Oh, we're supposed to stick together. Right, 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 right. I'm with you. I'm with you. Where do we want to put them? Um... Alright, I'm just going to follow them then? Is this the locker room? Out here in the open like this? <laughs> These must be their lockers. Oh. Yeah, of course. The 
the shoe lockers. Oh, shoe lockers. The team drama goes down here. We didn't. We don't have shoe lockers. Yeah, that's where you drop. We got foot lockers. Or challenge your rivals to duels. No shoe lockers. What century did you go to school in? Look, whatever. All I'm saying is, this place is worth at least three cameras. Okay. That many just for the lockers? Yep. See, a school never has that many blind spots. So when you do find one, you make it special. And this one's pinging my radar pretty hard here. Pretty hard. Huh. He's pretty hard. After that, sure, let's do it. Ping, ping, pretty hard. Oh, yeah, that's a good. That's a good spot with that and there. And we're gonna get some major butt Take action the there on in. the bench one. I see you've set up a few cameras already. We'll see who's been working out. Is coming in nice and clear. You guys are doing awesome. Thanks. That's things on your end. We just finished with the back of the gym. Next up is the classroom building. Copy that. All right, Tuck. Just follow my lead. Are these shoes? Why would I pick up that? Are those shoes in those bags up there? What is what are in the bags? Screw. Why is there a screw by a shoe? Shoes don't use screws. God, I don't miss being in places like that. Ah, cha -cha. Hey, what do you know? Hello, Tess. Oh my god, I love the the mask. That's like my favorite color scheme with them. You rock. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, thank you. Jessica. Jessica. I don't think we're supposed to be here anymore. Better not wander from Kaido. That's right. We're just supposed to stick together. We don't actually have to find it. How's work going? How's today? Oh, no, we're still supposed to be inside here. You study for the modern Japanese says, uh, oh crap, I totally forgot. Huh, same here. I just remembered it's today. A uh, few fellow failure. I suppose we have to, oh, fuck, uh -huh, I'm not failing. I did pretty well on my midterms. Thus ends the fellowship. <laughs> That's kind of funny, and I missed it. I missed the one part, but that was funny. The one guy was... <laughs> That's pretty good. One guy... They, were they both... <laughs> one guy thought they were going to bond. One's an idiot. One's smart. The smart one messed up on one thing. So the idiot guy says, Hey, we're kind of the same. And then the guy says, Well, I did really well on this other test. He said, All right, I guess we're not. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, so many words. <sighs> that was great. Oh, come on. Yeah, that, that actually ended up working out. Sometimes when we do the voice, the silly voices, they don't always work out right. Sometimes it's like, oh, that doesn't make much sense, but oh well. That one worked out. There was a smart one and the dummy one. Uh, Alright. Where's the locker rooms and the bathrooms? I'm telling you, that's where the bullying takes place. We gotta put hidden cameras in the children's bathrooms and locker rooms. So let's go Trust me, is there's no way that's a bad idea. There's no way that's a bad idea. We gotta yeah, stop the bullying. A good pair of stairs. <laughs> Pushing someone down and ruins their day pretty quick. Oh, this is a, he, this is so funny. So funny because Kaido was a bully. A He's spot. actually finding all these yep. spots right away. Those corners make for poor visibility. This is true. This um, number one choice among assholes. Yeah, no, and the yeah, episode of Sopranos I watched uh, not that long ago. Um, all right. One of them well, that I watched, it, a, a sad thing happened to the to the psychiatrist lady in a stairwell. In a stairwell, it's 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 very easy. Uh, it's a hidden spot, right. very easy to be picked Let's on. Move up to the next floor. Yep. Leave of absence starting today. Uh, that sounds. Is that a good thing? Is the leave of absence a good thing? Yagami sheep, are you perhaps on the second floor? Yeah. We're about to start setting up. Okay, we're almost done with the first floor, and we'll be heading to the east building after. I think we can handle that all on our own. So can you finish up the second and third floors here? Sure, not a problem. Spin up for a bit shouldn't hurt. How about I take the second floor and you do the third? So jazzy. 
Works for me. Oh, we're splitting up? We're not supposed to split up. I don't know where I'm going. I have bad ideas. Let's see. Somewhere out of the way and hard to spot. I have three cameras to install. Where's a good place to start? Fuck. Okay, so... All jokes aside, obviously you can't put it in the inappropriate spots. Uh, hallway, he got he got foot lockers, which is kind of like the locker room without it being perverse. So that worked. And then you got the stairwell, which makes perfect sense, right? Hey, thanks, Mr. Melty Man. Yeah, heck yeah. I smoked a lot more today, just just because of it, I guess. They mentioned, someone mentioned it earlier today, and I was like, oh, I didn't know the date. I don't pay attention to the date, you know me. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you're having a good one though, Melty. Uh, have a good rest of the one. I'm unfortunately super depressed, so it's good for my mental health, but not for my wallet. Hey, sometimes we have to take a moment. Sometimes we have to take a moment. And, you know, as long as we can still get by, who needs that much money, right? <laughs> who needs that much money? Hey, big man. Come here. Come here. You right here, motherfucker. All right. Yes. Oh, is this another good spot? Is that what they're saying? I put one on the stair landing just to be safe. Hey, I like the idea. It's not bad. You think there you go? There you go. There you go, Tess. As long as, as, long as you get get uh, through another month, there you go. Whenever, uh, whenever I'm kind of feeling down, I like to change things up slightly. Like, typically I play video games all day, pretty much every day. But uh, if I'm feeling down, I'll just, you know, switch it up. I probably won't play video games. I'll probably do other things. Um, or probably just sleep, which is probably bad, right? But, you know, whatever. You just can't exactly keep a watchful eye in the men's room. Sure, bathrooms are prime bullying spots, but putting a camera here raises more ethical questions than I care for. Guys, the game even told us our jokes were bad. This is good. I mean, I could just avoid the urinals. Wait, couldn't we just like... I mean, how many kids are pulling down their pants and taking a dump in the, in the sink? Like, even if it's like 1 in like 50, we're still going to catch some inappropriate stuff on the camera. So I don't know if that's a good idea. Hey, Temple, he went. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's not, I don't really. He's going for it. He's going for it. He is going for it. Yeah, I didn't think that was that was actually going to happen. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's find another spot. I mean, what about the kids that like to, you know, I don't think any kids. I don't know. I don't know these kids these days and how much how much they like to wear when they go to the bathroom. Why am I supposed to know this stuff? Ladies, get the hell get the hell to class. Where's your where's your hall pass? Show me your freaking hall pass, ladies. Oh, you think because I work here and I'm just a I'm just like a janitor or something, you don't have to listen to me, huh? Well, you know, alright, hey, stop walking off, alright? I got hey, hey, fuck you, kid. Damn it. No respect. Yeah, no respect. God damn it. No, I'm a janitor. Uh, looking for something, pal? Yeah, I'm kind of busy, in case you couldn't tell. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let me see your other hand. Let me see your other hand, sir. Another blind spot, but real nice if he'd step away for a second so I can install the camera. What we could do is... Alright, well, let's let's observe. got pee he seems to have peeled the label off the bottle well what, what because he's putting like alcohol in it is he refilling it with tap water maybe he's just being economical if he's struggling with money then i can buy him out at a discount buy him out just because i want him to move from the spot instead of get, because i see he's poor instead of offering ten dollars to leave we're only gonna give him five <laughs> like what the fuck uh, 
Hey, let me see what you're let me see what you're hiding, sir. <gasps> you smoking this you're smoking a cigarette, man. That is so okay, cool. That's cool. Do you have an extra? Because I haven't gone to the store, the convenience store, to get some, but we need some so we can eavesdrop on other people, right? It's important to eavesdrop. Uh, smoking's not allowed on school premises. <laughs> the premises. <laughs> premises. Um, guess he's sneaking in a few puffs. Puff, puff, puff. Hate to burn a fellow smoker, but I have a job to do. Hey, sir. I don't like to bring this up, but... Better fucking move or I'm gonna tell the principal on you. Really need this guy to get out of time for a little negotiation. I'll report you for smoking. I'll give you 1,000 yen to move. Uh, I'll report you for slacking off. This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, this is like an old yeah. <laughs> <It's cool. laughs> That's funny. What do you want? Oh, get out of here. What do you want? Get out of, what are you doing? Get out of here. What is this? Get out of here. What, what are you doing? Get out of here. Um, I, I don't, I have, I feel like we have plenty of money and honestly, I don't want to be rude about the smoking. So I just like bribe him. I know he's going to be like, why the fuck is this guy bribing me? This is weird, right? Why would someone pay me to leave the spot? What is he going to do here? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, we have to keep it real. Sir, I'm did you sure know you're not allowed to smoke here? School. Should you really be doing that here? Oh, uh, you saw that, huh? Did you, uh... <sighs> Keep this between us. For 1,000 yen, I can. <laughs> and then we can. We can leave this area clear. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> no problem. Just don't tell anyone, okay? Personal friends with the dean. <clears throat> okay. I'm just saying. We have lunch sometimes. Okay, security stuff. Same camera setup. Easy peasy. Love jazz music. Dude, you totally can, Tess. He would he would have been caught way earlier. Yeah, he would have, yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> For sure. Uh, back up Kaido. Probably going down then. I, all right, I don't know how much of, how much time we spend at the school, but I'm kind of hoping we get harassed by these kids some more. I, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun with these kids being mean to the adults, and then these guys not taking it. Still got two cameras left. It's fun. Maybe this tight corridor might be good. The teachers probably pass by without a second glance. Hey, what do you mean? Don't you think we should be installing these in classrooms? Isn't that where bullying primarily takes place? Oh. Um. Right about that. Oh shit, I guess. We couldn't cover every classroom. We couldn't cover every, yeah, so how would you... Yeah, fair enough. Nice to see you putting so much thought into this. So, as professionals, we'll just have to make do with what we've got. We should okay. set this camera up wherever we can get the broadest view. Yeah. How about the ceiling in the middle of the hall? Then we'll see everyone going in and out of class. Okay, Tuck, I'm gonna give you a boost. So make sure you find a good spot for that thing, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah, huh? Oh, I love these games. You know, we totally could have done this during recess. <laughs> Look at everyone just staring. Everyone's just staring at us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too late to now. Just do what you gotta do and be done with it. Like, how professional are they that they don't have a ladder to use? That he's literally standing on the back of his friend. Like, yeah, these guys don't look very professional. <laughs> Oh, the cool kids again. We already whooped their ass. You want to go for round two? Huh? Huh? Are we admiring them? Hey, you saw them, right? Those kids who started trouble at the restaurant. You noticed too, huh? They're Classroom doing drugs. Two, two. Sounds like we've got some bullies in there for sure. That'll be a prime spot for the last camera. Yes. All right. Just make sure they don't see your face. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Let's roll, Tom. <laughs> this is true. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh no. If I'm all by myself, I mean, sure, we could beat them up, but I feel like 
their insults are gonna make us uh, they're gonna wear me, us down oh my god is this a teacher there being an inspection today uh oh is this a love interest uh oh shit yagami's oh. just got his love interest sorry to be the music away, hit we won't take long i understand but nobody notified me we'd have any interruptions Either yeah, that or she's gonna die. Nobody notified us this school. She I is. Gorgeous teacher. Like the style. Gorgeous teachers. You know Come on, what? Kaido. I don't seem to recognize either of you. Probably because our usual repairmen were here just last month. Cool hairstyle, I think. Uh, can't oh, say no. I anything about that. We're just here doing our job, man. Yeah. You can call me Sawa Sensei, not man. Sawa? And you're in my classroom. Forget I like her freaking tough you attitude. Ask, she don't take no great. Damn, I think she's on to us. What's the best way out of this? I don't know. Ask her out on a date, man. The chairman hired us, so this is how you treat people. I reserve my right to remain silent. <laughs> Let's lie and say the chairman hired us. Oh, fuck. Who's that's real, though. Who called us in? I had assumed all teachers were notified. Oh, the chairman. That's, that's well, true, though. I suppose though. I should leave it at that, then. Hmm? And it wasn't... Well, when you say it like that... It... Did he make this appointment with you directly? Yep, I sure did. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for your. She didn't buy it. Hmm. And I'm sure our chairman. Gave I chose the wrong name. one. I chose his the wrong name? one. We. Oh, oh what well, was his name? Uh, that would be. No, don't give me the options. Oh my god. Wait, no, it's not Ando. Is it Okuda? It's not Ishizuka. Is it Okuda? Devil, do you have a guess? <laughs> I think it's a I think it's a Kuda son. I never pay attention to this kind of stuff. <laughs> you want to guess too? I don't believe it was Ando son even though I do remember seeing Ando somewhere. That is a difficult name and the fact that it says of course attached to it makes it totally a throwaway, right? It's like Oh, is this one? Of course it's that one. It's like, it's never of course. This also says obviously. This one, it, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe in a way it's also kind of synonym. <laughs> yeah, I think that's where I'm going. Uh, I hope it's not Ando. We're going to find out. Okuda-san. How could I forget? Yes. Of course. I'm sorry for being so rude. Nailed it. No problem at all. I <laughs> my soul. There we go, Tess. There we go. So you're just my type. My dream this gal, okay, so what? this is why I wanted to play this after LA Noir, LA Noir like I said, because LA Noir is so serious, and this also is that detective stuff. There are right and wrong answers. And the game continues, whatever. It's just kind of the conversation, the reaction you get. And we're done. Sorry <laughs> and, again for the disturbance. Uh, it's just we'll a much now. more light-hearted game. It's it, it, you're still gonna find crime. We there is you know dead bodies and this and that. But boy, boy, are some of these missions and side missions so ridiculous. The that They're so great. Son. The what acting is so fun. Yeah, so good. But man, that chick's the spitting image Whenever guys are trying to be crush. tough on the street and talking shit, those are, those are the oh, best cutscenes. Those are the best ones. Me the bad <laughs> They're just so good. Uh, mainly because they're really corny and really, really cheesy and just super not. It, it's just so funny. Yagamishi, please respond. Hey, man, we just finished setting up the cameras. Good, so did we. Could you and Kaito san meet us at the gymnasium then? It's empty at the moment. I wonder what our first pervert mission is going to be. Moving forward. Got it. Then we'll see I you feel like gym. that first quest was, or the first quest, that first mission already involved a pervert. Uh. She said the guy was trying to take pictures of her un underoos. He denied it. But then again, when he was in, when we were in the courtroom and he was sentenced to six months for his behavior or whatever, he then I don't know if he necessarily confessed to the crime, but he basically told everyone a bunch of details of a crime that only someone that committed the crime would know so in a way it was definitely felt like a confession of sorts but it was for something so much worse than what he was I, it was just such a weird moment i don't know what happened with that 
That's going to be interesting Excellent to get more work, on that gentlemen. story. All cameras are fully operational. But for now, that's the underlying thing. Right now, there's a bunch of bullying going on at school, so, and we were hired by the sit back and watch. Uh, by a chairman like that, uh, yeah. uh, of the board. And by the way, Yagamishi, I noticed you <laughs> he said he's okay classroom. with us doing this. Did you find a lead there or something? Yeah, that classroom had those problem kids from yesterday. Thought they'd be worth keeping an eye on. Uh huh. Well, nothing. Why couldn't we be like outside yet. in a van or something we'll doing this? Wait. Should they really be in the school? Like, that's a little bit weird. bullying happening at this school? This is a surefire way to find out. Do they have any audio in the classroom? They could kind of get educated as they watch. The badminton? Wrong as it is, there's something about smoking in school that makes it feel twice as good. <laughs> You're awfully nostalgic today, Kaito-san. Yeah, none of us, none of the these guys are maintenance guys. So this is our we're incognito. They're all detectives. Uh oh. Guys, not even not even like police detectives. Like they're just. What is it? Yeah, they're uh, investigators. Set up the camera. Class two two. Um, Yagami used to be a lawyer. Then again. And I think he still has like the pin, or he has some sort of something about it. Oh God damn it! There was a suicide uh, a few years oh, ago or something. He almost gave him a Kinshasa. He didn't actually hit her. He just pretended like he was giving her a Kinshasa. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura's Nia Taima. <laughs> yeah, what are they doing? I'm sure this is horrible. This is fucked up. I hate that this dude films it. Let's go kick the shit out of. It's like that obviously goes that he has like a fan base that enjoys watching yeah, this horrible shit. This is a and that's even more disgusting. Hold on, Yagami -san. Yeah. What we now? already kicked their ass. It was fun. It, it was like so funny. They came for. They're already leaving the classroom. Wait, did we kick their ass? Yeah, we fought them. Yeah, cuz they didn't want to they didn't want to pick up the man's sign. I know, like nobody they even they just ignore it. They just ignore it. You. Let's go, Kaito san I want to see what happened with my own two eyes. Yeah. I suppose we should report this to our client. I didn't expect to find anything this quickly, though. Yeah. But now, we have irrefutable evidence that bullying is real here at Serio. This is true. But we'll have to take this up with the chairman and see how we should proceed. Yeah, that was actually... that's That was what happened to the one guy. I'm gonna... I wonder if it's still on here. Devil... <laughs> yeah, there it is. I'm gonna relink it. It was the first they. It was. It's how they introduced. Oh god damn it! I'm not gonna have. Let's see. Affluent, attractive, current dance game. See, that's crazy. That says dance game. see if that works yeah it was when they introduced it and the very first thing that we were able to do right afterwards we had to fight them because they, they weren't dealing with it <laughs> and this was such a great this was such a great quick finish the kids are a bunch of punk asses oh <laughs> so stupid all right so what are we doing now head to the class 2-2 on the second floor Dude, I wonder if we have to still be wearing our outfit. <laughs> Holy shit. This is the third floor. Oh, this is not room 2-2. Two, two. Oh, it's 2-1. Two, 2-2. One. Two, two. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. That was unexpected because most of the hits, most of the attacks are actually hitting, right? And so that was snake style. It was so funny to do it on the kids that were acting so tough. And then he ends up fainting, being scared. We saw on camera. Snake style is dope. They've introduced, they, so far, I mean, crane style and tiger style were in the first one. Crane style is more for AoE. Tiger style is like one-on-one, -on -one, more focused strength. And then you've got, um, now they've introduced Snake's style. And what the fuck is this kid looking at? 
Huh? Should uh, get back to reading your book there, uh, notebook. Yeah. Oh, okay. So examine the bullied student. Yes. Yes. Oh, we should probably get closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Uh, <clears throat> what the? Hey, suspicious. Mami Koda. That must be your name. Mami Koda? Press and hold to think? What does that mean? Does this help us? I don't know what it is, but I want to do it. We're going to do it for the first time. Oh, I need to... It helped. That's so cool. This is like a... What do you call the... Um, intuition. Point. I need to observe the girl who was being bullied in the field. Maybe someone around her... Key. Oh, right, right. Well, obviously. We were going to keep doing that, but I didn't notice that yet, and that looked pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, we can do that a bunch, so that's pretty cool. Um... What, the what did they write on her hand? Suspicious. What? The back of her neck? I couldn't really see her face on camera, but I don't want to wake her up either. I don't think she's sleeping. She has her head down because she's embarrassed. Oh. I'm literally standing right next to her. She would have freaking moved. She's just a cute kid. Why do they always have to go through such hell? Hmm. We gotta figure out what was written on her hand. Here we go. What the? What is that? Someone wrote sluts. Are you kidding me? On the back of her hand and permanent marker. That's just awful. That was the other girl. The, the slut wrote slut. Like, get out of town. Get out of town, all right? I don't know if she's a slut, but she was being a major bitch. I'll tell you that. Yeah, what's up? I've just reported our findings to the chairman. That's weak. Did you meet us here? His office is on the third floor of the East Building. On our way. I feel like somebody should be nice to this girl. Like, is there anyone around that can maybe make her feel better? Or do we have any, like, I don't know, like a fucking candy bar or something? Just put it on her desk and leave? I mean, that ought to make someone feel... I mean, I know whenever I get candy, I feel better. I know you're not supposed to give kids candy and stuff, but I mean, if you give them candy and leave them alone, then it seems like that's not... <laughs> that's not you're, you know, you're really going against the grain there. What up? No, man, we're in a rush. That kid. <laughs> that was me. That's definitely me younger. If I ever, if I heard someone running up on me like that, from behind, running down the halls at like full speed, and they came close to me, I'd turn around ready to freaking take them on. Like, is it, was this person coming after me? What does he want? Like, that would be my reaction too. So that one guy turned around ready to fight. That was pretty great. Oh, dude. Only depressed kids. Yeah, see, there you go. Only depressed kids. And then that explains why, you know, all the sad fat kids stay fast, sad and fat. And just... It's a cycle. Oh, we're going upstairs. Oh, we have to go back. Oh, and we're going to the chairman's office because we have the proof and so many items. Worn magnets. Ooh, old circuit. All right. I don't know what that's for. <laughs> Tess, I'm telling you, candy is just a, it's a feel good, it, you know, it's a nice thing. It's Please just nice in. when someone's like, oh, yo, here you go, here's some candy. God, it's awesome. Awesome. Great feeling. Huh? Even it's a little bit of candy. You're the teacher. That's so why I totally sense. get, like, old Wasn't ladies it? carrying butterscotch so candies in their pocket, old. in their purse. Like, I totally get it. All of these men are detectives? Like, yes. they're brilliant. And like, those old ladies are brilliant. Identities a secret. These gentlemen here are Yakumi-san and Kaito-san. I see. Very well, then. Too soon. He just did <laughs> it's, I've I'm, a, I'm a fan of comedy, and um, it's, I, I'm, I'm someone that I, it's, I think it's best to uh, laugh at a situation. Find the humor and stuff. It's there. You just gotta look for it. Oh, cool. He's got one of those cool, like, Alienware laptops with all of the flashy little, like, fucking lights and stuff. You're being bullied. Her name's Mommy Coda. Do I have that right? <sighs> She's in the basketball club, and so are all those kids surrounding her. I wonder if that's where the bullying started. 
Sawa-sensei, you mentioned noticing something was wrong? Yeah, I don't think it's Alienware. Alienware is good stuff. My brother has an Alienware. Um, it's normal looking. <laughs> it's just a normal. I mean, it's nice. It's thin-ish. Yeah, it's nice. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. For one thing, it would be quite problematic to use this video as evidence. Mm, true. Why? The school can't just come out and say we've been recording your case. Oh, okay. Consent. That makes sense. Yes, and let us bear in mind, they still have their whole. I love. Lives <laughs> you learn stuff when you play these games. You can't play these you games and not learn something. You're gonna learn a you? lot of things hey, by playing this game. Night, you said the Any Yakuza game. Man. You'll learn about things you've never even thought to think about. Let me just begin by saying You'll learn about taxes or mortgages. <laughs> like uh, you'll no learn about ethical. Like you just learn about the most wide range of of subjects. What if she does something I love the details on her lips. She's definitely a passionate teacher. I dig it. She's cool. What if she's the ringleader of the bullies? She's the lead bully. And she's playing us because she thinks we're stupid. And she's like psychologically bullying us. This is this is too much. This is just um, too much. Pardon me for saying so, but bullying is rarely resolved by the victim and the perpetrator coming to a mutual agreement. Thus, a third party must intervene. I presume you read that in a book somewhere. I can tell you from experience that no victim finds it easy to open oh, up the about their situation. Common. Not to family, friends, anyone. It takes a tremendous amount of courage for a bullied child to come forth and seek help. So if we as outsiders are to intervene, we must consider the ramifications. Even so, he said, no, <laughs> where did I you read that? Right. In a book? In a big scene might only make things worse. For <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Come on, Mark. Uh. Doesn't like you. Someone's drowning right in front of your eyes. <laughs> I don't know, devil. We we filmed some children and they called a little girl slut. The whole school um what started in that classroom will end in that classroom. Too sad. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. But did you say you were a detective? <laughs> The name's Yagami. Yeah, we've been lying to you this whole time, ma'am. the bullying, like it's that easy. Tell me, where does all this confidence come from? Whoa, better not bungle my words around her. I know, right? Fuck. Um, well, when we were younger, um, no, I don't know. You think there's a real chance we could pull this off, Yagami-san? I do. Can you bring up that video again? Sure. One moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the evidence on the toilet can was just real shitty. We didn't get anything solid. Yep. I think the secret to stopping the bullying is right here in this video. Really? And by all means, detective, enlighten us. You don't have to be so condescending. Mmm. Nope. Roasted. He's got a point. You gotta back up that claim. <laughs> so what's this big secret you're talking about? The secret in this video on how to stop the bullying is... <clears throat> Bully... The bullies. There we go. Oh, uh, the onlook- the onlookers! The onlookers are the problem. 100% the onlookers. People are too afraid to stand up for their fellow- fellow man or lady. People are too afraid to interfere. They're afraid they're going to be targeted next. But we can't be afraid. Together, we can stop it. Together, if we work and we look out for each other, we can end all of this. We can end it. Together. Um, victims should speak up. Uh, onlookers are the problem. The bullying footage solves everything. Let's just do the onlookers are the problem because that's what I believe. It's those students sitting idly by. They're aware of the problem but aren't doing anything to help. Well, yeah, there's a whole flock of bullies. Get in their way, you're their next target. Adults do the same thing, honestly. Mm-hmm. Guess we're not right. so different from high schoolers. Yeah. 100% we, we look the we other way. hold some sort of trial and get the class involved? Is that what you're trying to suggest? Again, something like that would only spread the issue. 
And that Apparently that answer is Dakota wrong. Said, Tell me, what is your suggestion, Yagami-san? <laughs> what I'm getting at is that it's the <laughs> execution of yep, yep. that's empowering these boys. On the surface, we only see students turning their eyes as one of their own gets tormented. They feign disinterest or pretend not to notice because remember, that's the safest thing to do. But deep down, it kills them to see it. <laughs> that's horrible. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah, I mean, bye. So if the class could just express that, the pressure would then shift to the bullies. We have to tip the social balance in that classroom, become the voices of justice, of social law. Then it's the bullies who become the outcasts. Would they keep running the risk of bullying if it meant social exile? Hmm. Huh. I can see how you arrived there. All right. So where do we come in? <laughs> we come in by giving the bystanders a voice. We're gonna be the how do you do that? that lights the fire. After all, the first voice matters the most. Okay. So Are we the starting the Me Too campaign? Tsukumo, how fast can you get your hands on a couple of mini speakers? I want to put them in the classroom where they can't be seen. I can have them here momentarily, but I admit I don't really grasp the plan here. And anytime bullying takes place, you. we're gonna blast. Say it'll work. <laughs> we're gonna blast them very loud on speakers. <laughs> Stop bullying. <laughs> in that case, I'll be back before school's out. Chairman, I don't know what these detectives are planning, but I'll tell you this right now. Oh. I refuse to stand idly by while a student gets pushed to the breaking point. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This bump, lady. Don't leave us hanging. We're on the same squad. Come on. Come on. Squad goals, right? Or whatever that means. About the student who committed suicide. Oh, no. That affected Sawa Sensei profoundly. Did she know her? She blames herself for being unable to prevent it. Or him, whatever sorry. The cause may have it was a boy. I can see that. As the chairman of this school, I don't want to let her down. So please, help her, Yakimi. Now he's making me feel bad. Help us all. After school. This is interesting how much. Coming along, this is this is an interesting no first case. Bullying. So that's, far, a, that's so changing good. it up big time. Looks like most of the students have gone home. Get here. Do you have the speakers I gave you? Yep, and they're just what I needed. They the fell off a truck somewhere. <laughs> How about we save the praise for after our plan works out? Anybody in the classroom right now? In class 2 2? Let me check. Hmm? Now that's odd. What's wrong? Well, that one's fine, but. There's something wrong with the camera in the classroom building. The one on the second floor by the stairs. Uh-oh. Broken? They found it. No, still getting a signal. Something might be blocking mm. the lens. All right. I'll check it out on the way. Just check it out now. Double time. What are you doing? Hi, Playing video games on your phone? You texting your friends? Your phone's broken. Nah, I don't know anything about phones. No. Nope. I work on, uh, cameras. Cameras. Alright. Well. Have a good one. <laughs> oh, boy. What are these... Why... Go to class. Why are the well, who's what are these kids doing in the hallways? Come on. Nice bow tie. I like her hairstyle. Is she wearing chucks? No, I like her shoes. I saw some items in here. We're gonna rifle through the kids' stuff, steal their lunch boxes, steal their <laughs> steal their lunches, <laughs> like in Billy Madison. Yeah. Okay. What do we got here? How does it look, Yagamishi? Anything unusual? Let's find out. Huh? The heck is this? Did you find something? Yeah, a sticker on the lens. Someone's found the camera. Uh, Yagamichi, behind you! There he is! That's the pervert who set up the hidden camera! Oh no! 
They think it's a hidden one for upskirts. Dan, hidden camera. Your first thought is to take it down. That's wrong. What you do instead is block the lens. That way, when the perp finally notices, he goes back to fix it, and bam, caught in the act. They're teaching you what to do. Just stay back. I love this game. I love these games. What is it you're doing over there? So, did you know I'm gonna make this a very long? <laughs> like I'm gonna explain to you exactly uh, what my thought process was. It's brilliant. Uh, what we beat up the kid with the weapon. That's fine. Just call it self-defense. to do that for us. That is amazing. Oh, no, we're good now. We're good now. Stretchy rubber. That's gross. Uh-oh. Oh, we got dropped. Crap. Crap. Okay, so what do we do? We crawl? You should see a ladder that goes up to the gym's roof. That's my advice. Got it. I run. Uh, ooh, item. Don't panic, but the school just contacted security. Several guards are en route to your location. Oh, they Great. saw me. Just what I needed. They saw me. Don't oh, let me get that. Look at the birds. Yo, that would be so crazy being up here. Terrifying. Like you'd be afraid to slide. Where have you been watching from this whole time? From the drone, Yagamishi. I found a spot that's pretty inconspicuous. From oh, I see here, it. Use the drone as a guide and jump from God that damn, I hate drone missions. Classroom. They're my least favorite. A big gap. Right. I'll try not to die. <laughs> Devil, I think you have a bladder problem. Uh, long jump? Cool. Oh, fuck. Out of there? I'll have to somehow. But before that, I'm gonna need to set up these speakers. What? Even after all that? Yeah, I should be able to make a clean getaway. As long as I'm done before security gets too tight. Are you serious? It'll be fine. All I have to do is not get caught, right? Besides, I have the world's greatest hacker on my side. This is true. You know very well I'm weak to flattery. <laughs> <laughs> But for the glory of Yokohama 99, I will not let you down, Yagamishi. Let's get this mission started. Hell yeah. Be careful here. Oh no, it's not a stealth one. Why can't I just beat everyone up? Like I said, I should be able to help you get to your destination without incident. Make sure you don't lose that earpiece, okay? Got it. Counting on you, Tsukumo.
All right. Yeah. Shortest route to class 2 2. Uh, nothing we can do but find another route. Give me a moment. Yagamishi, it seems the rooftop might be a more viable option. Let's abandon this route and try it, shall we? Yeah. No sense waiting for the guards to just give up their posts. Let's check Suppose. out the rooftop. Oh, God, just teleport me there. I see now. That guy's coming. Oh, wait. Wouldn't it just be up? Yep. <clears throat> the hell? Another roadblock? That's not good. My apologies. I'm afraid that was a blind spot. Well, shit. Yagamishi, how many guards are there? Hmm? There's just one. Just one. Oh, now, in that case, let's just get that guard out of your way. <laughs> Got a plan? <laughs> of course. Yagamishi, it's time to put that thing I gave you to use. You mean this ball or whatever? What does it even do? <laughs> it's kind of like one of those anti theft balls, actually. You fill that ball with powder or liquid and throw it at your target to blind them. Right. So, what's inside this thing? Oh, just some peppers. Oh, Peppers. fuck that. Fuck that. Is this really going to work? That's going to linger no, no, in. Don't doubt the magician. Just take my word for That's it. That's going to linger. Yagami is going to get in his eyes. Everyone's going to be crying as they fight each other. Okay. Makes sense. Fuck <laughs> that. I don't think we were supposed to take him down. Oh, damn. Just go past, which is weird. Like charm. <laughs> what did I tell you? But you guys not gonna question the random you like what the fuck? A refill on your own. Yeah, I got it. Do I still be sneaking around like I'm a freaking weirdo? Yeah, why is the roof crowded? Not much cover. There's no getting away if security finds me. Oh well. Oh well. We just run? Yep. I didn't see him there. Let me go. Great, now we're gonna go down as a perv. Oh. Alright. Now I know that he's on that side, we won't walk so close to him. But that doesn't mean I'm not gonna still run! Oh god, he's gonna find me. No! Shit! Okay, so what? We gotta be sneaky and blending with the kids? So I gotta tell you what. We don't look like we belong with the children. No. I hate they're doing that again. Remember that? Would you like to lower the difficulty? It's a pro. I'm just figuring out what you want from the missions. Give me, give me a moment. Maybe we can play be incognito with the kids. Or maybe we just kind of watch the movements and oh god. I just wait for them to turn back around. That's all we do. Red light, green light. That's all. Hey, little fuck faces. Parents never love you. Oh. Gotta say that worked like a charm. Tsukumo, can you hear me? If I keep going down this way, I'll just end up back at the scene from earlier, right? The landing where you were accused of being a pervert? <clears throat> yeah. Yes, that's correct. 
<laughs> idea how it's looking right now? I'll take a look. Not good. <laughs> There's no sign of that sharp girl who framed you. The onlookers seem to have dispersed too. Oh, then I'm good to go? There is one guard posted there, but I'm sure you can get past him. Yeah, piece of cake if he's alone. Ooh, what's that shiny? This guy's totally gonna turn around. Where am I supposed to go this way? Sorry, I just want to be able to take you down, bro. I, I We can't take down the guys, no matter what. That's so annoying. Just slam me. I deserve it. Pervert. God damn it. Try again. No way. God. Yeah, it's me again. Parents wanted me to come over here and tell you that uh, what I said wasn't true. Um, but, nope, it was true. They don't love you. Let's go. In that step, here we go. Ladies, one more time. Yeah, all right. Oh, are you mad at your friends? All right. Tsukumo, can you, the land you have any idea? I'll take a look. Okay. There's no sign of. Oh. There is. Yeah. Piece of cake. I'm supposed to jump out a window. Oh, I didn't see this right here. What the fuck? Well, that was the issue. Uh... Like, I'm gonna turn around, eh? I was about to say, where'd he go? Oh, I need to be right here. No, I want to. Gosh, damn it. We're going to have to wait for him to come back. I want to grab that item to my right. Just touch it. Booyah. Should have ran, kept running, but I was afraid those guys down the hall would have got us. So, what okay. are we doing back in here? I'm in class 2 2. Nobody in sight. Roger that. <laughs> Seems like those guards were no trouble for you. Yeah, thanks to you. Well, I'm going to set up those speakers while I can. Good luck. Now then, where was Kodasan's desk? Uh, was this one right there? I knew it was right there. I was going towards it. Should face this way? Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Just put it right underneath the desk. Okay. Multiple ones. 
don't know about being directly under it like that. I don't Super think that's a very good spot. Say something through the speakers. Oh, uh, testing. Testing. Today's forecast calls for sunshine and heavy security. Kids are going to hit their knees against it. That's not a very good place. Your speakers are awesome, Tsukumo. Almost like you're in the room. Does this mean your setup is complete? Yeah, I've pretty much done what I can. Uh oh. Oh, no, you don't. You stay your ass right there. Go get Yakun and the boys. Ah, Yakun and the boys. Security all riled up. They've been looking all over for you. Didn't think you'd be dumb enough to stay. Could have sworn I saw you earlier on lunch. Now where have I seen that face? Uh, oh man, it was just the other day. Yesterday. Yep. Guy who stole my fucking phone. I didn't steal shit. Don't lose heart, Yagamichi. Already come this far. Right. We can get through this. Oh shit, rugby players? Look, who uh -oh. the fuck are you and why are you in our school? No answer? You're only making this worse on yourself, you know. You can swipe some girls and chain clothes or something. Yeah. Does this mean we could beat the answers out of him? Oh yeah. We'll end up as heroes for breaking this nasty ass pervert. Sick. I always wonder what it'd be like to shatter a human bone. Yikes. Whoa. What is this shit? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't mess around, Yakun. We all need to take him at once. Oh no, they're having strategy talk? That's not good. Let's run. <laughs> oh crap. Don't let him go. Oh no. Oh yes. Here we go. <laughs> very, very disciplined creeper. Yagamichi, you can't get caught now. They'll label you as a sex offender. You don't want that on the news, do you? Nope. No, can't have that. <laughs> and then, yeah, exactly, right? There we go. I don't think I can do a quick block on the end. Yeah. Alright. That was a. He's the leader fucker, and he didn't stand a chance. move Ellie attacks or more oh fuck yeah that's pretty cool oh fuck no Oh, that's not good. Sliding me. Think I can throw this kid down the stairs? Nope. That was good timing. Should I have gone 
laser on them? Oh. Well, should give him some uh, swirlies. Some purple nurples. Really teach him a lesson. The three of us need to make our exit now, too. We'll all regroup at the office, okay? I got it. Mission accomplished. We beat up the children. Uh, I should head back to Yoko Island and then uh, Yoko Island. And we're no longer dressed like a freaking maintenance man, man, man. Um, where are we going this way? Oh crap, what are they doing? Oh crap. Alright, fine. Bar punk. Alright. I think we'll go back to Snake. We gotta just rock Snake. Snake's like the dopest. It's very cool. Snake stance seems to be very cool. <laughs> Ain't no bully. I'm defeating the bullies by bullying them. You're right. Yeah, we're bullying. You're right. We're bullying. You know what? That might be a store that I should go see if we could buy some cigarettes at. This area was where one of the Hong Kong girls is for uh, Like a Dragon. Or was the Hong Kong girls from this? To be honest, I don't remember now, to be honest. There's no way they sell cigarettes here. Actual costumes? A vampire costume? I don't have the money. Pilot suit? I love it. But I don't have the money. We'll be coming back here, lady. I'm gonna be a fucking vampire. Hell yeah. Detective va Vampire Detective. I love the takedowns as well. What a waste. So good. Mysterious stone. Okay, this has got no, this also is not a convenience store. Tome, hi there. Yo, they were. Yeah, they were part of this. Yeah, it was this. Was it this? Yeah, it was this. No, it might have been like a dragon. Yeah, it was like a dragon because this... Holy shit, guys. This is like the niece... Or no, not the niece, sorry. Like the, the mother, grandmother of... One of the characters in Like a Dragon. God, what was her name? She was like the quiet one. The, the one that worked in the office. Yeah. It's just, I just love the back and forth. Purple arrows? What are the purple arrows for? Shit. So the the buff the buff ones the buff gangsters I remember I remember them telling us that yeah all right which we can take them on sure we I just have to probably should stock up on some what's the word I'm looking for po like potions and shit. Oh, 
No, I'm not done. I was doing cool shit, yo. Let's go get a drink. Well, Aerie there was. Yeah, 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 her. That was, uh, yeah, and that was the lady. And, and with the chicken. They had the chicken and everything. And, and they would be so happy when... Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey, man. Cigarettes? Ooh, Mountain Dew? Yeah, hell yeah, I want some Mountain Dew. Cigarettes? Sega took it. Oh, wow, what? Seven stars, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because she was the one that had. Uh, well, I mean, they all, when we put on the different outfits and stuff, but she was definitely the one with uh, that we put on the Dominatrix one with. Hot pepper. Conversation over here. Oh, hell yeah. And this is where Namba. Um, Met the the girl that he likes, and they went on a date. Soup kitchen girl, or it wasn't Namba; it was a friend of Namba's. To be honest, I don't really remember at this point. But yeah, soup kitchen girl. Yeah, I remember soup kitchen girl. That's great. <laughs> Why do you say that, Amber? Because we're beating up kids. Oh, what? Oh, we're here. Okay. Oh, you can hold it down for a real big one. Sorry. You know this is gonna be a challenge. What? It kicked me off? I thought it was gonna be like a long grind. Whatever. Fuck that. Rusted. Excuse me, excuse me, coming in. Nice. Alright, yes, we made it back to the to our spot. Active agency. <laughs> oh man. You yeah, that was bad. Arrested and put on the sex offender list. There's no way I'd screw things up that bad. In all seriousness, those bullies got what was coming. I kind of wish you messed them up worse. That way, they'd never bother Kodasan again. Yeah, but that wouldn't really solve the problem. Not everything can be settled with a fight. What? Wow, look who's talking. But that's yeah, but we beat up. Yeah, we beat up play, so many people. <clears throat> yeah, if everything goes as expected. Hey, you did everything you could, right? So we'll see what tomorrow has in store. How do we reach these keys? I mean, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> you right to do yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you gotta bully the kids, man. It gives them character. Time to go to Zero High and put an end to the bullying. How do we put the end to the bullying? What's this mailbox for? Someone sent me something? Lightning Blade Extract Set, Detective Essentials Pack. Alright. Telekinesis Extract Set, Detective Essentials Pack. Okay. 
Instaflux extract set. Detective Essentials pack. All right. Unyielding wave extract set. Detective Essentials pack. Okay. Guardian spirit extract set. Detective Essentials pack. All right. Temporal Zen extract set. Detective Essentials pack. Hmm, okay. Master System Game ROM Sega. Oh hell yeah. Fantasy Zone Two. Tears of Opa Opa. Oh hell yeah. Alien Syndrome. Oh hell yeah. Global Defense. Oh hell yeah. Detective Dog. What? Uh -huh. <laughs> what? Do we get? Do I get a dog? What? Oh, it's a good fella. A girlfriend. Some girlfriends? Alright. Loved, loved by the girlfriends. Yep, getting all the girlfriends. Hover dry. Guys, we have a hoverboard. We got a freaking hoverboard. Ooh, and a skate park? I didn't even know they had skate parks in this. That makes sense. Drone for now. I don't care about the drone stuff, to be honest. American Motorcycle, the Maxinator. Wait, we get to actually have, like, car like vehicles in this? That is awesome. Oh, they're for bike racing. Additional course, urban. Nice. We're going to be doing some fucking um, uh, road rash, it looks like. <laughs> sparring partner? What? Sparring partner? That's really cool. Oh, cool. Wait, we get to, like, maybe learn some stuff then with sparring? Okay. I feel like this is a little bit of... How should we say, like, spoilers of sorts, but we'll get there. Dance club additional moves? Dance club? Get the fuck out of here. I get to dance like John Travolta? Oh, man. Dance club new outfit? School? Oh, my God. Robotics club additional robot? What? We get to play freaking battle bots? We're going to have to play battle bots? Additional battle style boxer. What the shit did we just unlock? Three women, three tales of love. Minot, Minot, Minato, Toto. Rumors of mascots have been circling around Kamarachu. Uh Follow the lead and you may come face to face with some mysterious girl. Available after the main story begins. Kyoko Hakase. A lone woman trembles in fear on Ijinkicho. Ijinkicho Nights. Could be possibly, what could she possibly be afraid of? Main story begins. Tsukino Saitome, after solving countless cases, Yagami receives yet another request, except on this one, he finds a familiar name. What? Ba -ba -ba. What? We got a new fighting style? I didn't know that's what that freaking said. I saw something with Boxer. I didn't think that it was a fighting style. Get out of here. And we can do perfect art. Oh, my God. Uh, sparring partners, new sparring partners, we have the boxing gym. I didn't even know we had a boxing gym. It was awesome. Holy crap, Ola. Holy crap, Ola. How do I get my dog? How do I get my dog? It's a very unique way they stop the mulling. Do they have a dance? They have a dance off? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> oh man it uses no artificial coloring yikes Comes with a DVD, fuck yeah. Oh. We'll just have options of the dog. Dog. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm curious of this fighter. This fighter. Uh, or boxer. Fighting pose. 
Oh my god, our fucking hoverboard. Marty McFly up in this house. Circle, circles hook. Oh wow! So there's no grappling. Of course, there's no grappling in, in boxing, right? So, uh, so instead of circle being grapple, it's a hook. That's dope. That's cute. That's cute. That'll be fun. <laughs> Good night. Really, guys? Really? Mm. sidewalks all right I think this is the climax of this this uh, mission of sorts I guess Come on. What the fuck are you guys doing now, you little freaking shitbirds? Yo. I have so, some of the know, DLC. I didn't I don't have Kaido's Kaido's I don't think I have the season pass. I have some DLC. Anything more to say than that, Coda? Get your ass up. Come on. Matsun's really not in the mood to deal with your shit today. I'll just eat lunch here, okay? Huh? You're giving us lip now? I guess you won't be needing this stuff then. No, that's her food, I told man. You to get your ass up, you little slut. Oh, maybe you've started fucking guys on your lunch break now? <laughs> You're out here living the dream, aren't you? <laughs> Enough. Get your ass up. What's the fucking hold up, Coda? You should be thanking us for even inviting you to come. So slow. I can't fucking stand you. Well, damn. So much for my appetite. You guys are making me sick. Hey, who the <laughs> fuck said that? We're making you sick. Oh, no. Huh? You guys talking about us? You see anyone else being assholes? Of course he's talking about you. Oh, no. Yeah, I've about had it with you punks. This shit's getting old. The fuck? Ganging up on the same girl day after day make you feel real big? Unfucking believable that it takes three of them to do it. Yeah, if the kids won't speak up, then they'll do it for them, and that'll be enough. Here. You know she's just a whore, she, right? they, they're so stupid. That's great. Just ignore these losers. How they think all the know? kids are saying. Calling someone a whore isn't gonna win you any points. Right. Let's hear it for the picture of purity over here. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> she can dish it, but she can't take it. Hope the boys are watching. What? What the fuck, man? If you want to talk shit, say it to my face. What part of this <laughs> don't you understand? <laughs> y yeah. You know what, guys? 
It's true. You there guys you go. just need to. They just need. Alone. He's right. He's totally right. What's your problem with her anyway? Yeah, Kuda didn't do anything wrong, guys. <laughs> exactly. So back on the great. already. Stop acting like little punks. Get the hell out of here. All it takes is someone to speak up, you know? Nobody wants to be the the, the, oh, how does it the one the like going, the only you? one to go yeah. against. Toss them out. Oh shit. Yeah. Have the kids kill the other kids. Throw them out the window. Uh, Fuck it. They're not scared of two grown ass men, but they're afraid of like a classroom of little kids. I've never seen these kids band together like that. Ooh, you they hear that music in the background? That's a ballad, baby. It's hard to speak up even this when is you good. know this something's is... happening right yep. in front of you is wrong. Not so different from adults, right? Yagami-san, was everything we just witnessed part of your plan? It's just psychology. This is the good stuff. There's this... a concept called the bystander effect. Positive. According to the psychologists, when a person witnesses an incident, there's three things that run through their mind if other people are in the vicinity. Huh? One, if no one else acts, it must not be urgent. Two, if no one else acts, I don't have to take action either. And three, if I take action alone, I'll embarrass myself. Maybe. The result? Everybody stands there and nobody takes action. I just figured if I could get even one person to step up and raise their voice, it would spur the rest of them to push past their inability to act. <laughs> Penguins are the same way. You ever <laughs> seen a flock of them hesitating to take a leap into the sea? One takes the first plunge and the others all start following after him. The first penguin, you say? It's a fascinating term for a display of bravery. I've heard it said that overseas in America, the first penguin is a symbol of respect. I have so never heard that. Yagami, see, that would mean your voice was the first penguin in that classroom. Oh my god, Yagami is, yeah, is, is, is the first penguin. Problem. But, mystery solved. You're hoping it's at least a good first step. Yeah, what did she have in her little. What she, what you got to eat, lady? Show me your food. They're gone. You should be safe from them for a while. Yeah, lunchtime maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's sad. <laughs> kind of shitty that anyone even had to do any of that. Like, why is she being targeted? Why is she the one that's like? Why does she have to feel like these people are doing her fucking favor? Like. What the hell? Why can't she just be left alone? That's sad. What do you say we monitor the situation for now? Might not be wise for adults to intervene just yet. I suppose your plan has worked out for the better. But it should be teachers and administrators. <laughs> <having> <laughs> <these> <laughs> <things> <laughs> not detectives. You know what? I couldn't agree more. Uh. And if you'll excuse me. Come on, man. Lighten up a little. You didn't have to rub it in her face. <laughs> you know what she thinks? She thinks we're some bums off the street trying to meddle in academic affairs. <laughs> well, then, I apologize on her behalf. But Yagami-san, that was some magic you worked there. Magic man. Hard to admit this at my age, but I learned quite a bit from what you did. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Good stuff, Yagami-san. Naturally. I knew you would deliver. <laughs> huh? Oh no, Sorry, don't tell me there's a serious this. case going on. Hey, this is Yagami. This is Shiosaki. Do you have a minute? No. Uh, sure. Yeah. No. I have oh, guys. Really he's fine. He's fine. It concerns a trial we've been involved with. Oh, they're all Listen, fine. Sorry, this is good. Uh, I'm a little busy. I don't know if I could take a rush job at the moment. We aren't even in Kawacha right now. Actually, I'm in Yokohama. Really? That's interesting. I'm helping Sugiura out with a case for his new agency. We're on site right now. At Serio High School. Uh, sorry, son? You there? Serio High? 
somewhere near Eugene Cho. Is that the school? Hmm. Have you heard of it? This is connected. A college age student teacher from that school went missing about two months ago. Oh. It was all very sudden. Huh. They mentioned that there was I a think teacher. I heard missing. something about that actually. Yeah. He himself was a Saverio High graduate. He'd returned to his alma mater to finish his teaching credential. Just a sec. How do you know so much about this? The teacher's name is Hiro Mikoshiba. And his body was, was discovered a few days ago. How was the guy? They found him in one of Ichincho's abandoned buildings. <sighs> but they said that he said the guy that said this guy died was responsible for the suicide of the student. Moments ago, in fact. Moments ago. This is gonna end today. Thing is, someone else knew Mikoshiba was dead before the police even confirmed it. Guy in the fucking court the case. Offender, Akihiro Ehara. I defended him in court. The day Mikoshiba disappeared, Ehara was arrested at the station for groping. He's also an active duty officer. That's fucked up. So you're saying he committed the murder too? No. The victim was still alive while Ahara was at the station in Tokyo committing sexual battery. He was caught and arrested on the spot. And he's been in jail for the two months since. Ah, oh, they're so on the subway. Right. He has an alibi for the murder? Right. But there's more to it. A few days ago, someone lit flares at the location of Mikoshiba's body. It obviously couldn't have been Ahara, so I suspect that's the real culprit. But how would he know? But whoever that Working is... Working together? Is somehow connected, connected to Ahara. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, there's no other way he could have known about the body. Exactly. There's clearly more to Ahara than an officer turned groper. More than likely, he's an accomplice to murder. Okay. So, do we have a motive? Four years ago, Ahara's only son hung himself in their home. He was a student at Seiryo High at the time. And the way Ahara sees it, his death was the result of bullying at the hands of his classmate, Mikoshiba. You mean it's revenge? In that case, could he possibly have hired someone else to kill the guy in his stead? It's highly likely. As for my request, I'd like to see what you can find out. Mikoshiba's murder is too suspicious. Up until today, I wrote Ehara off as just another train groper. But he Just got another one for that on the exact day that Mikoshiba was killed. It can't be a coincidence. I mean, yeah, he like purposely a better alibi than being arrested for a different crime. See, right? he, he's, he's like a freaking mastermind. Otherwise, the cops would have pinned him as suspect number one. Exactly. But so maybe as an alibi. Why go to all that trouble? I know, there right? Had but have been a better way than that. <laughs> I don't know what you said at the beginning, but yeah, I don't know. As his attorney, I have to admit there's a chance Ehara planned this. Which means yeah. I've made a critical oversight. Even worse, I let a misguided court issue a verdict. I can't allow that to stand. I need to reconsider both the harassment and the murder. Because I think the truth is these cases are one and the same. Sorry, Son's gonna All get right. too deep. She's well, oh god damn it. This is probably the last time we're gonna talk to her. What can I do for you? Can you see if anyone at Savio High will talk about Mikoshiba? Right now we need more information. And the first thing we should focus on is how and why he disappeared. That could give us a lead. So, does it mean you're hiring me? It does. Consider it an official request, if you would. Okay, I'm on it. <laughs> no better feeling than when the jobs line up perfectly. Mm hmm. Chapter one done, guys. You know what? Because like that, what a perfect ending point. It even had a good catchphrase at the end. Nothing like when the jobs line up perfectly. Well, there's no better ending point for the day. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna start this off, and we'll begin chapter what three? We just finished chapter two. Or we're at chapter two. We just finished. Oh, we just finished Black Sheep. I think we're we're on chapter two now. I think. Alright. Oh, it was awesome. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be more. We're not done with the school. If the teacher that was involved in the murder went to the school and everything happened at the school, that was motive for it all. Like, we're not done with the school. And I'm sure 
I, I gotta believe that the teacher, the pretty teacher, that with the attitude, she's involved in this in some way or another. She knows someone or knows more about stuff, and we'll, we'll have to talk to her some more. She's probably a nice lady. I don't think she's a bad person, but um, we'll get her. We'll get her on our side. So for now, I'm gonna take some ibuprofen because my head hurts, and I'm gonna call it tonight. So thank you for hanging out, Devil. Have a great night, Amber. If you're out there, have a great night. Anyone else out there, have a